Hey friends, today I did a makeup look from the Dollar Tree and not to spoil anything, but this is how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good, so let's get right into the video. Okay, so I just pulled up. So I'm gonna put on my mask and let's go. Okay, so I filmed this video when I got home from the store yesterday, but I was watching it and I was really pressed for time and you could kind of tell in the video that I was pressed for time. So I don't think I did as good of a look as I was hoping to. I don't know if I really gave everything a fair shot. So I'm trying it again this morning and I've got nothing but time today. So here we go. So I'm starting off with a Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I'm gonna use about this much and it is green. So, that could be good, because my face is red. It smells kind of chemically, but I mean, it was a dollar, so. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute and see if it gets tacky at all. It doesn't really feel like it's getting tacky, but that's okay. Uh, for foundation, I'm gonna go with the LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation. I do not like matte foundation, but it's all they had in my shade. And I thought the applicator, it looks like one of those little lip glosses you'd have when you were a kid. So I'm just gonna put some of that on my finger. Now for a beauty blender, the only thing they had was this silicone sponge. So I guess I will try. I hate this. <laughs> I'm going in with my beauty blender. It takes a lot of blending <laughs> to get this into the skin, but once you finally do, it's not its not bad. It looks like it matches pretty well. Um, like I said, for a dollar, sure. I don't, that's fine. So for contour, I got the Broadway Colors Contour Artist Cream in medium dark. I'm gonna do the contour with this shade and go in with this blush because when I did this one yesterday, it was way too orange. So this for contour and this for blush. I am gonna use this garbage sponge just to put it on there and then I'll blend it in with my beauty blender. Normally I would contour like under my jawline, but I had some dental work done and my jaw is so sore over here. I really don't think it could handle the beating it with the beauty blender. So we're not gonna do that, but But overall, <laughs> I think that the contour shade is not bad. I'd say it's worth a dollar. So I'll do the blush now. The blush shade is not really that prominent. I guess I can show you what this color looks like. I tried it yesterday, I did not like it, but anything for the video. Okay, this is ridiculous, please. Buy. There's nothing on there. Am I doing this wrong? I just don't understand. He's very orange, but maybe it won't look that bad when we blend it out. Yeah, it's not that bad once you blend it out. For powder, I got the Coverall Press Powder from Wet n Wild in the light shade, and I got this brush. I know this is not a powder brush, it is a contour brush, but it's all that I could find. It does come with this little sponge, but I don't really want to cake the powder on. I don't mind the powder. It's fine. I hate this brush though. It's way too flimsy. I feel like it doesn't really hold much product, but the powder, it's fine. For primer, I got the LA Colors Glow Sticks in shade Poppin'. Can you see that? That's not bad for a dollar. It's definitely not the best highlight I've ever used. I would never go that far, but um, I it's pretty, it's pretty bright. So next I got the LA Colors Setting Spray. It's a little travel size. This smells really bad. Like burnt plastic kind of, if you know what that smells like. I would never use this again. I'm actually probably gonna throw it away um, as soon as I'm done with this video. <laughs> you can see like the exact little spots that each mist hit me at. So I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender. 
For eyeshadow, I wanted to do something other than the like pinkish nude tones I always do. So I wanted to do something a little fun. I got the this three color palette from LA Colors. It's called Iris. You'll see that like it looks like there's a spot of a different color in the middle. I'll show you with this brush. Wherever you touch it, it changes color. This is clean. Like I just use this right now. I'll use the other side so you can really see. This one turns purple, this one turns brown, and this one also turns brown. Not sure why it does that, but the colors come off like the original colors. Like this looks blue, this looks purple, this looks pink. I got this Wet n Wild brush. It is not a blending brush, but it's the only one that I saw. So I'm gonna start off with pink in the crease and no, there was no eyeshadow primer. It's pretty pigmented for not having a primer. So I'm gonna go in with the purple. I almost grabbed the blue because it looks purple. But I'm gonna go in with the purple and do that on my outer lid and kind of blend that into the crease. The purple is not nearly as pigmented as the pink, but I think you just kind of have to layer it. Now I'm gonna go in with the blue on the front half of my lid. I take back what I said, the blue absolutely looks purple. I swear yesterday it looked blue, but it seriously looks purple right now. And then the purple, I guess, kind of looks more brown. Either way, I'm gonna go back in with the pink and put more of that in my crease. I'm gonna go in and clean up right through here just with my beauty blender. So this is the eye look. Um, Although the colors are not what they were supposed to be, I do like them. <laughs> uh, I don't really like the brush. Maybe if I had used it for what it was actually supposed to be used for instead of trying to blend with it. But I mean, for a dollar, I mean, it really turned out okay. So yeah, I mean, they're both worth a dollar, I guess. Again, I wanted to do something kind of fun. So for eyeliner, I got the LA Colors Metallic Liquid Liner in blue. It doesn't hold a lot of product. That's all I got with one pump. So that's one eye done. It does not hold a lot of product whatsoever. You have, I mean, this took probably about 10 pumps, but I love the color. <laughs> I probably never wear it, but I do love the color. I love the way this looks. Very metallic, very blue, as promised. <laughs> For eyebrows, I got the Broadway Beauty Eyebrow Pencil in dark brown. It's just a normal pencil. Uh, it comes with a sharpener and it has a spoolie on the other end. I think they turned out really good, actually. It did say dark brown. I would say it's a little bit lighter than how I normally do mine because I normally do mine like the same color as my hair. So that's a lot. I'll show you with my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil in deep brown. I think this one's just more warm toned, but this is the e.l.f. one. That's not warm toned at all, and this one is. I've never been a fan of warm tones on my face, but this is about the color of my natural hair. So all in all, I think I just got the wrong color, but I think they look really good. Now for eyelashes, I was so excited about this eyelash curler. How cool is that? I'm not afraid to admit that I like this better than my regular eyelash curler. For mascara, I got the LA Colors Big Lash. I just wanna say, because remember I did film this yesterday, I know there's product in here. See how it hangs off the end? But watch what happens when I put it on my eyes. I'll get super close to the camera so you can see. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'll do a second coat. That's with two coats. And that barely did anything at all. Uh, I will say, I think this is garbage. Here to possibly save the day though, I did get the Ioni 3D Faux Mink Lashes in 686601 and also the Ioni Everlasting Lash Glue. These lashes are absolutely beautiful. I love them. So now I'm gonna go in with this, what was supposed to be blue since it's now purple and smoke that under my eyes a little bit. And I'm going to attempt to do mascara on my bottom lashes. I 
I did five layers of mascara on each side and this is all I got. Now for lips, I'm doing chapstick. This was not from the dollar store, sorry. I got the LA Colors Lip Gloss in the shade Dreamy Pink. I thought this was so pretty. It smells so good. Like, I definitely had something that smells exactly like this when I was a kid. I'm never throwing this away. And it's pretty glossy, like it leaves a nice color. I just wanna lick my lips and like eat all this cause it smells like candy. Okay, so this is the final look. Let me get into natural light and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is the look in natural light. I actually love the way <laughs> this turns out. It looks a lot better than when I did it yesterday. I think the key to this is just I'm sorry, there's so many birds outside right now, but I think the key is to just take your time because yesterday when I was rushed, I couldn't get everything blended in right. The lashes weren't on right. The eyeliners weren't even. My eyebrows were patchy. It just takes time. This whole look took me a little over an hour. So if you are going to buy some of it, make sure you really have time to put in the work. But anyways, this is the finished look. So I'm gonna go back in my little makeup room and do a rundown of everything that I think is worth it and everything I think belongs in the garbage. Starting with the primer, I don't really feel like it was as tacky as a good primer should be. It felt more like a moisturizer. As for color correcting, I'm not really sure it did anything for that either. So I'm gonna have to say bye to this one. For foundation, I'll say this was a pretty good match. It took a lot of work to get it into the skin. It says matte, but it doesn't really sit on the face like a matte would. It doesn't pick up any texture, so that's okay. I'd say that this is definitely a try. The silicone sponge, I hate this thing so much. I'm definitely gonna say bye to this. The contour kit, I didn't really care for the blushes. They were more orange toned than I like, but they sit fine on the skin. Uh, I like this contour shade a lot and I haven't used these. I know that they do have these in other colors, like other shade ranges. So I'm definitely gonna say give this a try. For the powder, I will say this wasn't bad for a $1 powder, so you can give this a try. As for the Wet n Wild contour brush, I'm going to have to say bye. I did not like this, it was way too flimsy. It felt as cheap as it was. For the setting spray, this is part of the reason I'm going to wash my face off immediately after I finish filming. This stinks so much like chemicals. I'm so uncomfortable with this on my face. I'm definitely going to say bye to this. The LA Colors Glow Stick, I don't know if I would use this again. It does have a nice enough glow, but you can see exactly where I put it on the face and I blended it like for a while. So it's not terrible. They do have other colors. I would be interested in trying another color because this one was very like skin tone for me. So I'm gonna say give this a try. For the eyeshadow, I don't understand the color changing behind it. This is literally so blue yesterday, not just on the palette, but on my eyes. And today it's obviously a purple. I don't understand. I mean, the colors that came out of it were pretty. So I guess I would say try, but I probably won't buy it again. This Wet n Wild eyeshadow brush, it was okay. It wasn't anything exceptional and it wasn't terrible. Oh, it's, oops, some of the little hairs are coming out right now. That's no good. Okay, but for a dollar, sure, try it. The metallic blue liquid liner, I absolutely love. You don't get a lot of product on the brush, but it looks so good on the skin. It is a little drying, but it's a dollar, people. <laughs> I really like it, so I'm gonna say that this is a try. For the brow pencil, this was a fine $1 brow pencil. It's a little more warm tone than I prefer, but I'm definitely gonna say give this a try. My favorite thing to come out of this was this eyelash curler. I definitely say 10 out of 10, you have to try this. LA Colors Big Lash Mascara. This is dog shit. I hate this. I am literally throwing it away right now. Never buy that. That is a buy. The Ioni Lashes, I am obsessed with. The lash band isn't too thick. They're very wispy and they're so pretty. I'm definitely going to be buying more. So that is for sure a try. The Ioni Lash Glue, I actually really like this lash glue. I normally use Duo and it's very strong. Like you can kind of tug on your lashes, they're not going anywhere. But I feel like I'm always picking glue out of my eyelashes for like days after. 
And that didn't happen with this. I used micellar water on a cotton pad and I wiped it off. And with just a little gentle scrubbing, all the glue came off. It's not as strong as Duo, but if you're just going out for a couple hours, I think this is definitely a try. And lastly, this lip gloss. I am obsessed with it. It smells good, it looks good. I'm definitely putting this in my lip gloss collection in my purse. This is a definite try. So thank you for watching my video today. I hope you found some products that you might wanna try and some that you will definitely avoid. Um, please leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time, bye.